Listen up. Today, AduraClean Technologies announced industrial scale extruder engineering trials with Kraus, Maffei, and a complementary program with Chill in the Netherlands. It's a technical milestone and a big one because it de risks the demonstration plant, pulls forward long lead equipment orders, and reinforces management's execution playbook. And a quick primer, Adoro's hydrochemicality technology uses water as a key agent to upgrade lower value feedstock like mixed contaminated waste plastic at relatively low temperatures. And as you know, the company's thesis is to make real world plastic waste workable without expensive intensive pretreatment. Today's news is about the front door of that system, feeding and conditioning those messy streams so that the reactor gets consistent quality input. So what exactly was announced? Two coordinated work streams are now live. One, Aduro and Kraus Maffei extrusion will run industrial scale extrusion trials. The goal is to generate comprehensive design data on how to feed and pre-treat real-life contaminated waste plastic into Aduro's proprietary reactor system. This is a critical path item. It accelerates and de-risks design and enables Aduro to spec and then order long lead extruder equipment for the demonstration plant. Two, a complementary program with chills at the Brightlands Camelot campus will study key process variables in the presence of common contaminants. The bench to pilot data then flows to industrial validation with Kraus Maffei. Together, these activities define the pretreatment strategy and the integration of extrusion into the hydrochemolytic process at the demonstration scale. Why is this important? Number one, the extruder is a gatekeeper. If the extruder can reliably ingest heterogeneous contaminated plastics and deliver a steady conditioned feed, the reactor gets what it needs to hit target ranges. This is foundational to uptime yields and unit economics. Two, industrial scale data shortens the learning curve. Running trials at a reputable OEM like Kraus Maffei gives Aduro spec level evidence what screw design, temperatures and throughputs and contamination tolerance actually work. That turns engineering assumptions into orderable specifications. Three, less pretreatment, which means cost advantage. The program explicitly aims to minimize costly pretreatment. If Aduro can tolerate real world contamination and still maintain feed quality, it tightens the economic mode versus approaches that require pre-sorting. With data-backed specs, Aduro can confidently order long lead equipment, a key move that lacks schedules for the demonstration plant. The Aduro bull case rests on three pillars, technology, execution, and commercialization path. Today's PR strengthens all three. Technology, real world contaminated feed validation, first at Chill, then at Kraus Maffei, narrows the technology risks, especially around feed handling, a common failure point in scale ups. Two, execution. Aduro is following a structured parallel scale up plan, site selection process already announced. Now, Q4 2025, engineering activities tied to extruder trials and long lead ordering next. And this is exactly what investors want to see. Three, commercialization path. Each validated spec and equipment order is a hard milestone towards a reliable demonstration plant. The proof point partners and customers look for before commercial deployments. Add in the fact that Aduro is building on established relationships. They previously collaborated with Kraus Maffei and Chill during the pilot phase. And you have evidence of continuity and compounding know-how. This is exactly what consistent execution looks like. Now, from here, key signals to track are purchase orders for long lead extruder equipment and other major items, the pre-treatment design package and how it's integrated with the reactor, 
any updates to demonstration plant scope, schedule or capacity, and clarity on the feedstock slate and contamination tolerance ranges validated by the trials. The bottom line is this. Today's announcement is more than just lab work. It is a design enabling, risk reduction step that makes the demonstration plant more real and more schedulable. For the bull thesis is signals disciplined execution and growing technical defensibility in handling contaminated waste plastics, a must solve problem for chemical industry. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next time.